Hi, my name is Taya Delahanty from the Instructional Technology Department. Today I'm going to take you on a tour of the Chromebook cart that will be in your classroom. When the Chromebook cart arrives in your classroom, you're going to want to determine where you'd like to have it set up. Once you find that place, you can use the wheel locks to make sure the Chromebook cart does not move. There will, there will be four wheel locks and you just push them down like this. Um, this would be, your Chromebook cart would be a great presentation station. There are regular outlets at the end of your Chromebook cart that you can use to plug in your teacher laptop and your document camera. When you unlock your Chromebook cart, you'll see that it will have um, Chromebooks located on the shelves that match the number. Each shelf has a number on, on it. The students will unplug the Chromebook and you'll notice that the the plug, the power supply doesn't pull out of the Chromebook very far. When they're walking around the classroom, make sure they're holding it with two hands, and they're also going to bring it back to the Chromebook cart, holding it with both hands. Have the students place it on the shelf that corresponds with its number and plug it back in. When you're ready to lock up your Chromebook cart, you're going to want to make sure that none of the, the plugs are in the way of the door. Once your Chromebook cart is locked, you can um, also go over here and you can open the top of your Chromebook cart. This would be a great place for you to keep record of the inventory that is in your Chromebook cart, as well as any technical problems you'd like your technician to take a look at or your TOA. If you're noticing that a Chromebook is not charging, one of the things you can do to troubleshoot that is pull up the blue lever and the side of your Chromebook cart will come off. Here, you'll be able to look and see quickly if one of the chargers is not plugged in correctly. If you're not comfortable doing that, you could ask your technician or your teacher on assignment to take a look as well. You'll place the door, the side, back onto the Chromebook cart, and you'll know it's on because it doesn't come off of the cart again. Make sure you place the lid back on your Chromebook cart and lock the top as well.